Football heads, what's up? I am your host, Jerry Azuma, and you're listening to the brand new To The Points podcast, where I quickly break down primetime NFL matchups and give you some bets that I like. All right, guys, it's finally here. Super Bowl Sunday in the desert, and it will host two number one seeds, the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Currently, those birds are a one and a half point favorite. All right, guys, here we go. So many different storylines for this game, starting with head coach Andy Reid. He was the Eagles head coach for 14 seasons, and he's won more games there than any other coach in franchise history. But now Andy is trying to get his second ring in four years in Kansas City. You also have the Kelsey brothers. They're playing against each other for the first time in the Super Bowl. And center Jason Kelsey, he has a ring already with the Eagles. Brother Travis Kelsey, he has one with Kansas City. So bragging rights will be on the line in that family household. Now Mahomes versus Hurts. This will mark the first time two black quarterbacks will face each other in the Super Bowl. And these two quarterbacks, let me tell you something. They are playmakers and very electric. All these little storylines have created a lot of hype for this matchup, and I'm super excited to see it all go down. Now, offensively, the Eagles can move that rock. They are third in the NFL in scoring and in yards, and they can also run that ball effectively with Sanders, so it's something to watch out for. And the Chiefs, extremely dynamic and incredible at schemes on offense. This is the reason why they're number one in both of those categories. Now, Mahomes and Kelsey, that connection is extremely real. And if the Eagles don't disrupt that, then there'll be a long night for them. And I expect a lot of fireworks offensively from both of these teams. Now, I'll give the edge to the Eagles because I think that they have the more superior offensive line. Defensively now, this is where all the power is. There's just power all over the place, starting with the trenches on both sides of the ball. The Eagles defensively are very dangerous. They're ranking in at number two overall in the NFL. Now, these boys up front, they are no joke, and they know how to pressure the quarterback and sack that quarterback. That's, that's what they do well, and they are extremely good at it. Now, they have four casts with double-digit sacks, and the main one is Hassan Reddick. This dude is an absolute beast. Now, the Chiefs defensively, they're outside of the top 10 in the NFL, but it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Because when the game is on the line, they show up and they show out. Now, they have a baller by the name of Chris Jones, who's arguably the most disruptive defensive lineman in the NFL. And the Eagles must know where he's at at all times because he wreaks havoc and he destroys everything up front. So, you know the saying, offense wins games, but defense, they win championships. I can't wait to watch these defensive matchups. Now, let's just get right to the points. I like the coaching of Andy Reid and the playmaking ability of Mahomes. But I think the Eagles have the more complete, cohesive team. I think Hertz has a bunch of playmakers, and he will make a lot of plays with the RPO offense. And I really like the Eagles' overall defense. They're built to get after the quarterback, and they have the personnel to, in the secondary to slow down Travis Kelsey. I'm taking the Eagles to fly, Eagle fly, and cover that spread. Now, it's Super Bowl Sunday, so we got to put some change somewhere on a few things. Pacheco, over 15 and a half receiving yards. Kadarius Toney, over 27 and a half receiving yards. Devonta Smith, under five and a half receptions. And put some leftover change on the Chiefs calling the first timeout. I know, crazy, but leftover change to be on that. And also Sanders, over four and a half receiving yards. Okay, football heads, this has been to the points. Hit that subscribe button. And make sure you follow me at Jerry Azuma on Twitter. Until next time.